Hi guys, um, I have been absolutely awful at updating my blog um, since um, I the end of April. Um, I think I've updated like twice since then. Um, for the last like week and a half, I've really wanted to put this blog up um, and I just haven't had a chance to write it. Um, and by have a chance to write it, I mean I haven't actually had the energy to sit down and do it after work. Um, uh, work has been a little crazy. Uh, the students here graduated um, Mother's Day weekend and summer session started that Monday. So I have been running and gunning since then and teaching classes that week and getting prepped for other things as well as um, taking some time off for my birthday and hanging out with my family. So I haven't really gotten around to it since then. Um, but we've really been talking a lot about like advisors and what does it mean to be a college advisor for students. And it just really got me thinking about how thankful I am for the advisors that I had in college and the relationships I had with them. Um, I had three advisors because I was a triple major and had to have an advisor for every major, which is a little odd. Uh, but I realized that they actually got to know me as people. Um, not that the rest of my professors didn't, but um, they, I knew them on a different level, I think, and I really appreciated that because they really did help me a lot in college. And even though I felt like, you know, I had my schedule planned out and I knew what I was going to do, or at least I thought I did going in. Uh, so I, I don't know. I was just really appreciative of, of everything they did for me. And um, I really wanted to write them emails and thank you letters. And, um, you know, since uh, we've, I've been thinking about it, um, I haven't gotten to it yet. So hopefully I'll get to that this week. Um, but like my history advisor, um, I ended up spending a month in Chicago with her. She was um, teaching a class there and I get to go do that. And it was really interesting because we got to... I, we get to see uh, her outside of an academic setting. Um, we get to go over to her apartment and eat food with her and hang out with her at other events and stuff. And it was just kind of um, interesting. Like, I, I think I always knew that professors were real people, but it was sometimes really hard to think of them as real people. Um, so seeing them, seeing her outside of that academic situation uh, really helped me with that. Um, but she was always somebody that really took an interest in me as a student when I was a freshman. We had to go in and meet her, and she, you know, she asked a lot of questions, like, you know, what were you interested in, what our favorite books were, um, and of course, as a freshman, I told her my favorite book was Vanity Fair. Uh, yeah, I had, I was, had geeky English, ten, English major tendencies long before I was an English major, um, and two years later, when the movie came out, um, it was based on the book. It wasn't actually, it wasn't completely the same story. Um, she emailed me, like, the same weekend and asked me, um, if I'd seen the movie yet and how much it followed the book because she hadn't read it and was really interested um, to see it. And it took me a really long time to remember that I told her that like two years earlier that that was my favorite book. Um, I kind of had that moment of how the hell did she know that I love that book? Um, but she just really took an interest and wanted to know more about me and, and get to know me. And I felt like I could go talk to her when I, you know, needed something. Um, and she was really instrumental in the paper that I wrote my junior year and then presented my senior year. She was my advisor for that because she was a professor for that class. So um, it's just um, really got me thinking about, you know, being an advisor. And I'm really glad that I, as a librarian, I'm not an academic advisor for students because that it just involves knowing way too much about classes and what's required and, you know, being really responsible about the numbers and statistics and stuff. And I just, you know, that's a lot, a lot for a, somebody as new as me. And, you know, maybe sometime in the future it would be interesting. Um, but I just don't know that I have the time at you know, the time and, you know, we aren't required to do it. Um, but it does make me kind of question, like, how I, how we interact with students. And um, I feel like one thing we didn't really learn in grad school is that you have to learn to be kind of like that big sister and like the cheerleader for everybody, um, especially for me, where I'm, you know, some of the traditional age students, the seniors, I'm only two years older than they are. Um, it's, it's really interesting to, to have that like interaction with them. Um, because sometimes I think sometimes they they forget I, I'm a faculty member, um, but other times it's it's odd because they kind of forget that I was a college student once too. And so when I you know make comments like oh yeah I remember when something like that happened or yeah when my roommate did this or whatever, um, they they forget and it's kind of interesting that I you know I'm playing that role for them and I think about how important some of the faculty members and the staff members on campus were for me and it's. Um, a, a little odd to think that someday that maybe that I'll be that for somebody else and I'm, I'm still kind of getting over that and I think part of that's just that whole oh I'm old enough to be that person for somebody um which is you know kind of cool but uh 
uh, yeah, I mean, these are the kind of things that I've been thinking, I've been thinking about and really wanting to blog about recently, but haven't had a chance to. So maybe um, in the future I'll do more vlogs like this. It's still a little weird talking to a camera, like there's somebody out there that's listening to this. Um, but it's nice to just kind of get those, those ideas and feelings out there. So uh, maybe you'll see more of me later. <laughs> okay, bye.